Well, hello, my Muslim friends, and Happy New Year, 1st of January 2014. Actually, it's Christmas here at All Souls. We're outside the BBC in central London. I'm Rico Tice. I'm a pastor at the church. And actually, as I speak down below, there are some Muslim women at a Christmas event. They've been gracious enough to come and join us and find out more about our Christian festival of Christmas. So we're thrilled to have them there. Just in terms of where I am, I'm a, I'm a pastor, I teach the Bible, but this is my Quran. And just to say, you can see that I've been working a little bit at it. It's because I think this issue of listening to one another is absolutely crucial. One of the things I, I find very difficult is that quite often on the media, there are stereotypes of Christians. I'm sure you as a Muslim community find the same and you think you haven't really read, you haven't really looked at the sacred scriptures. And uh, certainly it's something I'm trying to do a little bit more as I have this book and have the Quran. And uh, in terms of my own faith, looking at the Bible was crucial. I um, didn't come from a Christian home, but on the 6th of August, 1982, many years ago now, my godfather was killed in a cliff fall. And I realized I had no answer to his death. I just remember the agony of a loved one being taken away so suddenly and thinking, I don't have a philosophy of life that copes with death. So it was amazing for me to find that Jesus rose from the dead, that on Easter day he, 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 he was resurrected. That's at the heart of Christian faith. He lived and taught, he had a band of followers, he was tried in a Roman and Jewish court, he was sentenced to die, they uh, strung him up on a cross, they put a spear through his side, they certified him as dead, they put him in a tomb, and three days later he was walking around again. And if he got through death himself, he could get me through. I found that an amazing truth in terms of hope. Secondly, I found that when he died on Good Friday, I found that he died for my wrongdoing. I'd, I'd been keeping a diary and it was really to show what a great bloke I was to the world. And I found out I was a selfish idiot. It was the most amazing experience to see my sin in this diary as I recorded it night after night. And then to find that when Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday, he died for my sin in my place, paying in death and blood for what I'd done wrong. Gosh, it was amazing to have hope on Easter Day through the resurrection of Jesus and forgiveness on Good Friday through his death. And then I found as I looked at the person of Jesus that there was this extraordinary forgiveness in him. So in the Sermon on the Mount he said, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. And then as he was being judicially murdered up on the cross, he cried out for the people killing him, Father forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. That forgiveness that correlation in terms of his life. He taught something, he even lived it out as he was being killed. I found it extraordinary. And forgiveness indeed is at the heart of the Christian faith. So as Christians, we are called to be people of forgiveness. One of Paul's letters, the letter to the Colossians, Colossians 3 verse 13 says, bear with one another, forgive whatever grievances you have against one another, forgive as the Lord forgave you. How do I forgive? Well, I receive this gift of forgiveness from God and that enables me to forgive others. The Lord's Prayer says, forgive us our trespasses as we give, forgive those who trespass against us. It's amazing to have this forgiveness, this cycle in relationships in marriage of saying, I'm sorry I was wrong, that's okay, I forgive you. That's what keeps the intimacy as we keep getting rid of the selfishness and sin through forgiveness. Well, anyway, Happy New Year. Thank you for listening. I've got my Quran. I hope you'll be looking at the Bible. I hope our culture will be looking for themselves into these books rather than drawing stereotypes. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. God bless.